keep saying he doesn't want to get the sequester. Right. Okay. The moment he gets the sequester and all these floaters are still there, the floaters are not going to target him for the simple fact that they want to take him to the end because they feel like they can beat him. That's how these people's strategy are working. We are going to be the floaters because they can't beat us if they take us to the end because we'll have at least three votes in the sequester house. So Will is a perfect person to drag all the way to the end. Would Marcellus want to take Erica? No. That'd be a crapshoot. Would Erica want to take Marcellus? No crapshoot. But everyone would want to take, and more than likely those are the people that are going to last the longest because everyone has go, going after bigger targets. Dr. Will goes to the end with anybody, they think they, they win against him. Dr. Will gets to the end, I'm giving him my vote. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, but half the house hates hates everybody in here. I don't like half the people here, but you have to see their best scenario game situations. Allison and June hated each other, but they worked together to get to the end. You know what I mean? The nerd herd, half of them hated each other, but they knew they had to stick together to get to the end. It's not about who you like and who you hate, it's about who you can beat. You know? Boogie's a completely expendable tool. This guy can't win shit. I know. But Will has the power to change games with his manipulation. And that's exactly what he's going to feed into their heads. Erica gets HOH. Erica. We're in sequester now. There's four members of season six. There's Marsalis. There's Danielle. There's you and there's me. So now, season six to the end, do you win? No. Because they're going to have th minimum three votes in the jury. But hey, you take me to the end, I've already won, I'm an asshole, I don't want to be here, I want to get out of here, you win, hands down. It makes sense. Yeah, that's a good point. You know, and this is because Marcellus, all he was talking about how I want to take, you know, I can't beat Nokomis in Final Three, or I can't do this, and I'm thinking, these people are thinking all the way to the end, and I'm thinking, it's bullshit because they feel like but it's also, it's pretty smart. My thing is, I don't care who I go to the end with. Because if I'm there with you, I hope to feel like I would have the votes, to, you know, to beat you based on gameplay. If I'm there with Jeannie, I would think I'd have the, I would hope I'd have the same thing. You know? If I'm there with Howie, I feel it's a lock. <laughs> you, people, that's how they're thinking. And if they take either Will or Boogie, they still win. Because everybody here is like, oh, they're rich. You know, they have money outside of here. What do they need it again? Will won once. It's and that's why they're also scared of Jay. He can beat them. So do we do what we think is best for our floaters, allies, who aren't even technically allies? I mean, Erica, last night I got her to call out. She said she's going to win an HOH when she needs one. Didn't we just say that Jace not throwing, throwing the HOH competition was selling his alliance down the road? Because, hey, you don't win it. You're not protecting your allies. These people don't want to win it. They don't want to protect people. They want to make sure what's best for them. Why should we be protecting them when they're not doing anything for us?